Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Quick Set. This is their part number 89925-01. This item is a lock installation part, their boring template. Boring. Um, not that it's not exciting, it's in fact quite exciting, but used in their boring installation kit, their Quick Set 138. The 89925-001 is a tool that I'm incredibly familiar with, um, meaning I have machined um, several tens of thousands of doors in my life, and I have always owned one of these kits. Always. The And this is what one looks like when I've removed it from the back packaging. I've not peeled off the film that's on here, so what you see is just the peel-away plastic that I've not cut off. So, almost, almost every single time I've machined a door by hand, I would mark the top of the door to the center line. I would mark my center line. I would use this tool to place it on the door itself and when I would mark my center line I'd make a like a half inch long line tape measure come down I would then place this and look for my inch and three quarter let's say if that's the door thickness I'm doing and to see that line that's peeking through the hole once I've got that hole over the horizontal line I would then come over to the face and I would pop my little hole into the back set that I want, which for me is almost always the two and three quarter back set. So what I'm saying is I've got the door, I put my tape measure, give me a half inch hole, take this, line it up, and then mark my hole on the face of the door, flip it over, mark my hole on the face of the door. I would have a piece of masking tape over the two and three eighths just so that I didn't unintentionally push that. And I would go so far as to cover off the two and a quarter and inch and three eighths as well. Um, and I have used the daylight out of this very inexpensive material. And that's how I go about machining the material. So I'd have a mark in the center line. I'd, my, my horizontal line that I've marked up, I would then mark directly the edge of the door the, in terms of the center of it. Then I'd have my back set, flip it over, do the opposite side. I've got three holes two on each side of the door, then one on the edge, and I would just take my hole saw, my two and an eighth, make that work. Well, I'd first do my cross, no, that's a lie. I would do my two and an eighth first on both sides, clean out that core, come with my one inch fly bit right in the edge of the door, I'm done. The Quick Set 138 tool that this would be a part of, it wouldn't be a part of, but it's related to that kit. I don't use that kit at all. I, quite frankly, I find it takes too long to do it. What I've just described to you is my methodology and the way by which I do the work, and I find it to be incredibly fast and accurate. A Quick Set 138 kit, I think, is used by locksmiths and landlords that, have, that maintain their own buildings um, and building engineers. And I realize I'm in the minority of people when it comes to using a lock installation kit. I just find this with a tape measure is, is, is just for me personally the way to go. Maybe it's cost, you know, per dollar. This is, real, this is super inexpensive compared to that. Um, one thing that I like about this tool is that it will also basically permit you to adjust reasonably well for the bevel on the door. Um, what I mean by that is this is going to be, let's say, a 90 degree angle. Okay, So it's literally going to give you the ability to um, make a hole straight in the edge of the door because regardless of your door being beveled, uh, beveled or 90 degree, this is going to sit on the high side of what it's touching regardless of it being over here or over here. What you don't want to do is push down on this if it's a bevel door to flex this piece out because then where you mark your hole on either side will not be exactly back to back. So just place this on the edge of the door. Don't push it down. 
and then mark and you'll have a consistent hole. Now will it be exactly at two and three quarter or two and three eighths back set? It won't because back set is actually measured if we looked at two and three eighths, if we looked at what the hole would look like from the edge of the door, back set is actually measured from that part of the door. Not from here or here. It's measured from the center of the door. So when you place your plate up on the door, you know, you're you're going to get a consistent location, but it's not going to be exactly correct because it's not exactly correct. It will be a sixteenth of an inch off. Um, Yeah, and that hole, these holes are exactly at two and three eighths or two and three quarter from the inside of the plate. I mean, they're, they're spot on. So your back set, if you follow along with me, will not be exactly, exactly correct, but lock sets are going to have a, a sixteenth of an inch, not even a sixteenth, because that bevel is actually one eighth inch for every two inches in thickness. So it will actually be just slight of a sixteenth of an inch. So nothing really to worry about. It'll be 50 thousandths. It'll be the thickness of a kick plate, basically. Now, having said that, there's really nothing much else to say about this tool except that I encourage you to, um, if you do any door work, um, I would own it. I would own it, and I would uh, use it before I made a deeper investment of more tools. I find that hole saws, for me personally, are the best way to drill the crossbore in a uh, in a commercial door because um, versus like a multi spur bit multi spur bits tend to really tear and if you have an open grain wood you might bump into your client having a luon door somewhere in their basement or their attached garage those open cell woods those open grain woods that multi spur bit spins itself feeds right because it's got a feed point on the front hits that door and it's just ripping Hole saws are nice, even ones that have been used a little bit because they're not so sharp, a little dull, not so the set of the teeth and the length of the teeth are such that you're not ripping so much. If you're really concerned about it, start your hole, make contact with the face of the door in your hole saw, put it in reverse and just score the face, then start to cut. So I'm a fan of these less expensive ways to drill lock hole preparations because not only is it less expensive, but in my experience, all you got to do is damage the veneer on one customer's door to realize this multi spur bit does not work for me. And they also have a half inch shank. So now you're dealing with a huge, <laughs> a half inch large Milwaukee that weighs 12 pounds itself. With my 208th, that'll be a quarter inch chuck. I can put that into a really lightweight drill, a really inexpensive corded you know, whatever brand, skill, that costs $35, cheap, light, um, a great way to do it. Anyway, if you have any questions on the quick set 89925-001 boring template or any other quick set tool used, there is a chart or a table down below this video that will allow you to re review all of the other pieces that are involved in the 138. But I said earlier, this is not inherently included in the kit. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not because the kit itself literally is this piece. Any questions on this uh, boring template or any other quick set lock installation tool, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.